Hey guys, we got another World War Three update. WW3 heading your way. Head to a town near you. And here's the update, guys. Russian bombers and fire jets uh, buzzed the skies of Alaska. Technically, they stayed in international airspace. But it prompted the United States Air Force to deploy uh, two F-22 stealth fighter jets to escort them away from the good old state of Alaska. Uh, the media picked right up on this. I, I have no idea why. This is something that happens on a bi-weekly basis. You know, uh, they do it to us, we do it to them. It's been happening since the Cold War. You can argue, however, that, you know, these types of incidents ha have picked up immensely in the last two to three years. But, you know, with U.S. and Russian relations over the past couple of years deteriorating, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. But the media is, you know, shoving this down our throats. You know why? Because it's the globalist push for World War III, the globalist agenda through the mouthpiece of mainstream media in the United States of America, people. You know what's funny, though? Something that happened today that I didn't see too much media attention on because they were talking about the health care bill, the, you know, Obamacare 2.0, that's really not... The Republicans really went left on that. But that's that sidebar, guys. Uh, we passed sanctions for North Korea. A new, fresh round of sanctions, people. This is it. This is the solution we need. False. False. It's not. It's the same shit that administrations have been trying for the past two decades. In the 90s, we did it. And like 20% of the North Korean population starved to death because they, they, the North Korean dictatorship, they don't care. They find ways around these sanctions. These sanctions don't stop them from... They just allocate more money to their military and let their people starve. These sanctions don't do anything. And that's why you didn't see the media cover it as much as they covered the health care bill, as much as they covered these Russian incursions. You know, things in North Korea are getting... Uh, pretty interesting, especially because, uh, you know, their relations with China seem to be kind of deteriorating a little bit. Uh, North Korea is claiming that China's backing USS, uh, holy shit, U.S. propaganda. But was I going to say USSR? I don't even know. Uh, but we're, we're seeing good old Kimmy boy still stuff his face while the rest of his people are uh, basically size 28 waist and lower. Because they're all skinny and he's fat. Another really weird thing going on is we're seeing these these little man-made islands being built off, you know, North Korea. They're taking a playbook from uh, the Chinese here, and uh, they're thinking that these will be secret military bases. I don't know how secret they'd be if we already have satellite imagery there, and with satellite Im imagery, we can figure out what the hell's going on uh, on these islands. But hey, they're making them. Uh, good old Kimmy boy said, hey. I want sandcastles as far as the eye can see. I will be the lord on top of the unicorn on these islands. And these people were like, okay, let's, I guess we'll dump sand here. Jesus Christ, where's our food? As Kimmy Boy stuffs his face for the 900th time. So guys, just expect these sanctions to really not curb them whatsoever. Uh, we really need China to step up and really choke hold Kimmy Boy there. It shouldn't be that hard. His neck is the size of thailand uh but i mean i just don't see it, it you know really you know these sanctions i don't think are uh gonna work so i think peaceful you know peaceful transition of power peaceful curb to their nuclear ambitions uh it went out the door went out the door down the street and shot itself in the head all right we're just gonna have to keep our eyes on north korea and in other news iran uh test fired a cruise missile off of one of their submarines good old iran um, other than North Korea, you know, all the time chanting death to America and saying we're going to become a CFR, we, we got Iran who does the same thing. Uh, the Ayatollah is like, hey, bud, hey, USA, uh, thanks for all the money, Obama. Yeah, that's what I don't get is Iran is, they are, you know, they're, they're building up their military extremely fast. And how? How? Because of all the money they received from the Obama administration from the past eight years. Holy shit. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars sent to Iran. Good old Iran. They take our money with one hand and with the other hand they hold a microphone up and scream death to America. Really great deal there, Obama. Super good. Oh yeah. U.S. officials have stated that the uh, test was a complete and utter failure. But uh, Russia's BFF Iran here 
uh, definitely building up their mil military. A lot of things are going going on over there, you know, especially with the proxy war in Yemen, uh, U.S. backed Saudis, uh, and Iran. But you, I mean, you don't hear about that in the mainstream news. I mean, why would you? It's not sexy enough. It doesn't push the uh, World War Three globalist agenda. Uh, right now, it's all about uh, Russia and uh, North Korea. So, or, you know, it's not sexy enough. But when World War Three starts, we might hear about it. You know, well, the the mainstream media will be like sidebar. This is uh, also why World War Three started. You know, oh, we're completely surprised. Whoa, oh my gosh, we weren't pushing for this. What? We weren't trying to get the American public ready for this. Oh my gosh. But guys, I digress. Uh, situation's still pretty serious in North Korea. Uh, you know, they're they don't seem like they're playing nice with China. I still think that maybe that could be a ruse. I really believe in a Russia, China, North Korea, Syria, Iran, Pakistani uh, alliance against the United States of America. I really think that's a possibility. And, um, you know, I think the globalists are pushing for World War III. Just like always, guys, the mainstream media chooses. They pick and, and choose when they want to talk about subjects. We haven't heard about Ukraine in, what, over a fucking year? And that shit's still going on. It, you know, it, you know the, the mainstream media, they're going to push their agenda. They always do. You know, they're going to push the global agenda. U.S. media is just as much of a propaganda as North Korea's. All right? They all have agendas. And right now, what we're waiting for in North Korea is for that nuke test, which I think, you know, they've had satellite imagery showing that that could happen any day now. And after that, we got to see how the U.S. responds. Things could get serious very quickly. So, check back, guys. Check back for more news, more updates. Hit that subscribe button because we, sh we, sh we sift through the bullshit, guys, all right? We, we keep our eyes peeled and all that good stuff. All right, guys.